Hey folks, welcome back to Shadow Empire. Let's just have a look what happened. This is round 110. Pretty far into the game. I've usually ended my games by now. <laughs> usually between somewhere between 100, round 100 and 150 I'm done. Uh, I've usually won the game. So this is a very, very unusual game for me in that it's just taken such a long time. But you know why? We had some false, false starts and yeah, <laughs> some delays. Let's just put it that way. Okay, let's have a look at what happened in the VidCon. Okay, so we gained Joint Struggle. Now, Joint Struggle... Ba -ba -ba -ba, where are we? Profo in the profile. Down here in Heart. Uh, by the way, we're in severe danger of losing volunteerism and technology fascination. We don't want to lose those. Particularly vol volunteerism. This gives us the no-retreat strategy, which is really, really damn good. Really, really strong uh, infantry attack. Um, also, we get technology... We don't lose technology fascination either. This is really important. So we've gone far enough into this now now the people loyalty bonus is really really big i'm not gonna lie this is gonna this is gonna help us no end keep people in our towns um we can probably look we, actually our worker happiness is is very high now in minos now neris is going up as well but population happiness is really really high we're doing good uh oh sorry we're doing well i don't know why i start saying we're doing good <laughs> so my, my english is just gradually corrupting day by day uh, so we also, uh, I'll take a look at the history in a minute. Let's go back through the rest of the uh, VidCon. But yeah, joint struggle is really important. We've also discovered a man pad. That's going to be very, very useful too. And we found some, uh, well, we found 300 GR auto automatus. Uh, those things are kind of, what do you call them? Gun emplacements, laser gun emplacements. Uh, we've also got a bunch of cards, inc including a retreat card. Now, this is an interesting one. Look, defense plus 30% and attack minus 40. You, re you retreat when you when you receive 10% uh, losses. This is a really good card for scouting. Um, okay, and we've also got send spy and a trade card. Let's carry on with looking at the history. Okay. I've not watched this yet, by the way. Yeah, these guys are moving, falling back into their into their um, own territory. <laughs> demons are pushing us back. The persistent demons. And we've yeah we've pushed these guys back, uh, these nomads back down as well. I, re I really want to destroy them. We got to we've got to get rid of those. Push these guys in. Just don't have that many action points. That's the problem. But we are gonna we are gonna try to push in on them here. Now we're going to have many action points here or many or much recon so we might lose some tanks again. Okay didn't do much good there but at least we've got them we've got them uh, pinned. Now yeah this is what I needed to do here just need to make sure that we keep this back. Uh, what, what's this I'm talking about? Well I mean this border here between the non-aligned forces at uh, Toaster Appliance. It's the name of the zone, apparently. And um, between, and Sansaria here, Madalar Ruins. Okay, let's get some more of these troops down this way. Yeah, looks like Sansaria are actually pushing up on these... Uh, on these nomads. Let's attack into these, see what do we can it, do. do they panicked, and we pushed them back, and they're dead. Okay. Okay, these things, we need to get them on a road so that we can get them back to where they want to be. Um, okay. Are they, are they all within local pickup range? Not really. Not really. Let's get a dirt road up this way. Okay, there we go. That's better. Uh, these guys here... Let's just attack in, just so we can get some field testing points. Excellent job. Yeah, they're retreating already as well. Great job. Okay, the, uh, the 4th in Independent motor Motorbike Battalion are doing really, really well. Uh, and we've just liberated Salmon Springs, which is a geezer turbine. It's going to give us more gonna give us more energy uh, you don't need to get this these hex perks right you don't need to have them connected by a road uh, so I, I did see some confusion somebody was saying I can't remember who it was now but they were asking 
oh, I think it was Jim. I think it was Jim Elliot um, was saying, uh, do you need to have hex perks connected? I think this is what he meant, via roads. And the answer is no. So summon springs here with this hex perk of the geezer turbine. As long as that's within your borders, you will get the bonus from that. So we'll actually see that we're going to be getting more. We want to hang on to this, actually. Whether we can or not, I don't know, because we've got all of this. Um, so, yeah. Kind of need more troops, to be honest. Let's bring these guys back down here. Bring onto this road network, and then we see if we can get them down. Yeah, maybe we bring them back down this way. Then we'll start using them to, to pick up back on this stuff that we've lost. Okay. Meanwhile. Let's have a look at our uh, decisions this turn. Syndic Union has passed a motion that the number of leaders in our service increases from 23 to 24. Yes, yes easy. Charismatic Union Chief and Neris. I hate this guy. Uh, let's just kill him. Yes, sir. Yeah, he had an accident. There we go. All right. I, he's, he's really annoying. You don't want him at all. He'll just... I, I don't know, like... The... I can't remember. The, some of the events that come up for him might help worker happiness, I think. But most of them, most of them are just really bad. So I just kill him as a matter of, <laughs> as a matter of course. Usually, um, I might drop their worker salary down at some point because it, uh, we are paying our people a lot, like way too much. That said, trading is quite profitable in this game. You know, we can always sell some bunch of metal if we need to. I don't want to. I don't want to at the moment. But, you know, like, we could make 4,000 credits quite easily if we did. Uh, there's a whole bunch of water we can get rid of, too. Yeah, we don't want to sell it all, because that would be a bad move. We can sell 1,000 credits aye, aye, worth. Sir. That's not going to hurt. Oh, uh, we've got a whole bunch of food as well. Let's um, sell 2,000 food. Aye, I don't want to sell it all. Um, yeah, I, I think, actually, what we're going to do... I'm going to build another fuel station. Uh, sorry, another biofuel, I think, until we've got some of the better fuel technologies. Rare metals are incredibly rare in this game, I think. I've not, I don't think we're going to come across many. I certainly haven't seen any rare metal mines, I don't think. Let's have a look at the... Let's have a look. Yeah, there's one here looking, Petronella. Um, so these guys have got one. So we might be able to trade with them. But I wouldn't bank on it. I mean, these guys seem like they're friendly at the moment. Speaking of which, before we go any further, uh, let's just finish this. Zone order for Neris. Uh, we'll just leave this as it is, I think. Yes, sir. Uh, resettlement proposal. An envoy from Sansari has proposed us to accept a small group of 1,600 rather special refugees. They are outcasts in Sansari because of their subversive philosophy. Good lord. Um, meritocracy. Let's just see what we can be gaining here. Now, this is an opportunity to get some government by saying no. That's going to give us a relationship decrease. And these guys are going to be really unhappy about it. But, but government. Because <laughs> we really, really need to go into... I really, really want workers' rights. It's hard to get, though. But the work happiness bonus plus 50%. I don't know. Also, meritocracy-capable supervisors would be really good for that plus one food per 1,000 people. And uh, martial tournaments, this one's really, really good too, with plus 25 on your operational command rolls. I mean, that's just amazing when you're at war, which we are. So maybe I, I think I will go for this. de the humanist, the lawful humanist school leader will not like this. Understood. And she's just going to have to put up or shut up. Actually, that's going to drop her down quite low, I feel. Where is she? Uh, in fact, hold on. Yeah, she's actually gone quite low. Uh, she's just a reserve pool member. Uh, she's only capability one. I don't really care, actually. Yeah, the, the lowest people are reserve pool members. Like, but wow, our relations are high with our people. That is good. Look at this. The uh, military research council guy is probably the, worst, the most unhappy one of the lot. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to spend a card on her. We, I mean, we could, we could probably play a stratagem and just get rid of her. The thing is, though, we don't want to do that because we, act, we actually need to add another another leader. Um, what should we do? Here's a cynical move. We could re uh, recruit a senior knowing that he's going to die pretty soon. <laughs> we could go for a recruiter talent. 
If we're going to have an extra leader, we might as well get a good one. Let's just see what we got. Uh, by the way, the reason why I'm doing that is because we've got a prom we've just made a promise to the Syndic Society to do so. Okay, let's just go to Surf Pool. Ina Cooper. Okay, she's streetwise. What was she? She was a scout. Cover tops. Not bad. Now, I mean, what are we getting with regards to bureaucratic points? They're not getting a lot, are they? So we can what we can use to measure this is something like the um, the model design council. Okay, new MG model. Yeah, so twenty four. They're they're kind of going up. What's that? Maybe one every four or five turns. Yeah, this is this is a high BP investment. That's not a good way to look at it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I really, I really want this Secret Service Council now. I think it might be time to go for it. But we do need to get more bureaucracy, and that's just expensive. Really, really expensive in terms of workers. Let's see what goes on. Let's see what happens in this in the battles this turn. Let's see what we can do. All right, looks like this uh, this brigade is starting to replenish. This is the first infantry, uh, first modern infantry br uh, brigade under Eugene Redway. What have we got here? We got Osalia territory. These are an AI regime. Let's just ignore those for the time being. Um, Let's get... Right, we've got two brigades and we've got a bunch of blocking units, or holding units. Uh, you know, independents. And we've got, we got some independent tanks too. Let's try to push these guys into the mountains and see if we can encircle them. We, they, we, it's going to be really hard to get them out of these mountains if they move into those. Um, I don't remember whether the AI likes to do that or not. I know I do. I like to do that a lot. Um, let's see what we've got here. We'll get a little bit of recon all around as well. Oh. Returning to base, okay, we did get attacked by a fighter squadron. But we still got 300 recon points, that's fine. Uh, we've got the 16th Heavy Machine Gun Infantry Battalion on fluid defence here. So attacking those is not going to be a great idea. However, that said, we might be able to cut these guys off from the SHQ by jumping on here. And that might be worth doing. Let's continue. What are you doing? Let's continue to move the 6th Modern Infantry Battalion up. I'm actually going to move them now. We've got enough... Uh, we've we've got enough logistics by a long way. I, I can't remember who it was, but there was a comment I had um, was like, "Why are you? Ah, oh, what was it? Something like, why are you cutting off? Why are you splitting the? Uh, you know, your? Why are you splitting your logistics up? Because it would be more efficient just to go one direction. The answer is, is you've already seen how bad it is if an en enemy jumps down and takes your takes your road. Like the, we've, we're in the po stage of the game now where we can get um, airdrops, okay? So you don't, you really don't want to just have one road. It's really like it's a, a, at least this close to enemy lines. It's a really bad idea, and there's, I'm not losing anything at all by splitting this. It's just you know, it's just a, it, it's a fool's game to just rely on one road. So yeah, that's why, that's why I do it. Um, yeah, it's funny. Like when, I, by the way, when I when I say stuff like that, I'm. I'm not. I'm not being defensive so much as just kind of. Well, maybe I am being a bit defensive, <laughs> but it's important. I think it's important that you understand why it is that I make deci these decisions, right? And I think, you know, because like it does. It you know, to a beginning, you'd be like, why? Why would you do that? It, it doesn't seem well. Part of part of the reason is look. If I just had one road down the middle, it's going to be ex for a start. It's going to be expensive building it through the, the desert anyway. Um, the other reason is because yeah, like. You you are relying on local pickup going either either way. Originally, the reason why I built it through here was because I needed to fuel these guys. Okay, um, so there's many reasons, but generally speaking, it's because you do not want to get cut off. Because if you get cut off, you're in big trouble. Uh, I'm going to send these these guys up this way to deal with these demons here. I, think I might actually attack him with these to see what we can see. Excellent wrecking mission. Good job, guys. I'm trying to attack him with machine gunners. This is usually, yeah, <laughs> it's usually a recipe for disaster. They die really easily for some reason. Okay, we did push them back. We lost some troops, but that's okay. 
Okay, we're going to continue moving the rest of these up. Keep the HQ where they are, I think, for the time being. Now, I want the... I want the first on this left... On this right flank, I think. And we'll bring the... the we'll bring this battalion up this way. Try and get round them. Okay, these are on defense. We want to switch them now. Where is the HQ? Okay, it's quite far back. We want these guys on the road. Um, why? Okay, so you do not lose your organizational bonus. Uh, you you get a H you get a HQ bonus for your uh, combat rolls. Okay, we're moving up, and we've actually taken their dome, their agri dome. They're going to start starving. Okay, so we've got plenty of trucks on this road. And in come the tanks. I think we're attacking, the, uh, attacking here, which means we need to switch our strategy. Um, we'll put them on infiltration, I think, and um, we'll go in with infiltration. Come on. Wow, they got a lot of hits. So what happened there? Okay, we've got a caliber penalty, but they've got a bigger one. They've got uh, experience. Uh, yeah, it's experience. They're really, really experienced troops. We lost a whole bunch of troops there. Carry on. See if we can push in. I know it says one to six. Don't worry about that. See if we can do some damage. Okay, maybe not. Wow, they, those guys are really, really tough. Look, I'm not surprised, though. They're actually... Yeah, we've got regulars. We've got seasoned. And they are on fluid defense as well. All right, that's fine. The good thing about where we are right now is we do have a whole bunch of logistics now. So we can actually get some... Tr we can actually get some replacements. Speaking of which... Uh, we're running really low on metal uh, rares, but that's because we're building a we we are building some more fuel, uh, some more energy now. Energy assets are a little low. We did get um, a, a bonus to energy this turn from that um, hex perk that we got in the north we in the northeast. Um, yeah, let's get some troops replaced. Uh, we'll go with the machine guns first. Very, very important. And we want the ARPGs next. Okay. All right. Um, I might switch these guys back into defense. Okay. And I don't think we're going to get attacked here. I, I don't think so. I'm guessing. Let's move these guys up and do what I was going to do, which is that. Now, they're going to try and push out of this, I reckon. But we've got... I think we've got these... These are going to be encircled now. And unless they've got a whole bunch of... Unless they're going to be sharing food from... Uh, all right. They have got an Agridome at Vernon here. And they've got one at Pollock as well. Um, we could grab that one. Now, it's undamaged too. We've got to think of the consequences. The consequences would be massive industri uh, industrial strain. So we're just going to leave that. We won't connect that up yet. We'll wait. Okay, uh, let's move down to the south. Hang on. Are we still within... Are those going to be within their command range? No, they're out of range. So let's move these guys up. Let's just bring them into the desert here. Okay. Finally, let's uh, jump down onto this. I think we're going to we try and kill these guys now. See if we can do it. Let's attack with... Uh, I've only got 70 recon. That's not good. Let's attack him with these guys. Do it. Do it now. Are they going to get the glory? Mission they did. <laughs> well done. The 9th Independent MG Battalion. Okay, we've liberated our, our airfield. I think what we need to do is we need to get through these... 
Yeah, let's... Why don't we send... Let's just see what we've got here. Yeah. Again, the, the reason for the spaghetti road is because I need redundancy. However, that is that is a waste. Um, we don't need that to, between there. Just drop that completely. Okay, that's better. Um, wait a minute. We're blocking that off for everything other than... Yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I want this. I need the redundancy here. Yeah, we got loads. Look, we got loads of that. Now that doesn't. We don't need that going down that way as well. Again, doesn't matter too much. What is important though? Let's see how many we've got. One crossroad, two, three. Okay, I think here. I think here we want another. We want a sealed road. And we want some dirt roads going into this mountain here. Why am I doing this? Because I think we want to start pushing down this way now and see if we can go and go and cut off their supply lines a little bit. And it's not going to hurt to send something down there to do that. And we have got a unit that is... Oh, we have some enemies. Who are these? Unknown unit. Okay, we need to get some aircraft. We need some more air... We need some recon aircraft. And we don't have any troops this turn. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we've got some here as well. Looks like these guys are... I don't know if they're, they're, they're traveling down here or whether they are planning to invade us. But that's an interesting find. Yeah, let's keep... I need to keep some troops on this border. Yeah, let's bring those militia over in that direction. These guys are on fluid defence. We need more troops. Uh, if we had more troops, we could get round them. Let's see what we can see, though. Let's push down this way and see what we can do. I really want to take Bondhausen. Uh, Bondhaus that's my that's my main objective now. Um, like I, I want to take this as well. If we can take this, and somehow I mean I don't know. Goldstone Federation are really strong. We kind of want to beat them anyway. Let's see if we can get some spies into into this zone here. No, it's the one above. Okay, that's saying it's the only zone that there is. Let's try this one here. Yes, sir. Okay. That's uh, this that Teof Black. This is over here. Look, oh, that's Sansaria. Here they are. I wonder if, how a Goldstone Federation and and Sansaria getting along. They're at war. That's intriguing. Yeah, our relation is really high with these guys. We need a non-aggression pact. You're, oh, we've already got a non-aggression pact with them. Oh, I'd forgotten I'd done that. Okay. Okay, they're not going to go for the cultural exchange. We need to have a free trade agreement. Yeah, we, we looked at this already, didn't we? They're quite high. They, they're not likely to do the, um, the the more friendly stuff, if I remember right. Yeah, they're, they're not that interested. And it's because we are probably too close to them in score, I'd say. Uh, it's not it doesn't really seem like it, it's in their interest. Um, we could ask them for help. 
and give us get political points or money that will reduce your friend uh, you know it'll reduce your relations but we've got a non-aggression pack so Understood. let's do that we might be able to get some political points at least all right gosh 25 minutes just for one episode uh, one turn but it's getting to that point of the game i think it's okay you guys don't mind do you no ben we don't mind okay good Yeah, I think we're good to go. So, um, Minos. Minos. What are we building again? I remember we were building something quite big. Oh, yeah. Rail station. That's not big. Is that it? Yes. Metal mines um, be actually recovering from being attacked. At least we'll get some more metal next turn. Yeah, energy's, energy's low. I think we, I don't know, maybe temporarily we just need to drop down, drop something down because we got enough food, I think. Yeah, we got enough, we've got enough in stores, I think. Um, I, I was happy selling that amount. Look, we're actually sending out about, what's that? Yeah, we, we're sending out about 900. But we're also getting 720 in per turn as well. It's the energy that's the problem here. Uh, we probably also should build some more machines aye, aye, artisanally. Sir. Yeah, once we've got this rail, rail station up, by the way, it will t we can actually probably reduce the, the amount of people who are working in some of the truck stations. Like, we might, it might be able to get rid of this truck station and just mothball it for the time being. So we got we've actually got loads we got loads and loads of uh, logistics and it might be worth just mothballing that at that point anyway uh, i think that's going to be it guys for this episode so i will catch you in the next one take care